So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another Vue.js tutorial in which we're going to take a look at what the computed properties are in Vue.js and how you can basically get started with them. So I'm going to keep this tutorial real thin and uh, real quick to get started with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a prop one here which is the static property right and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and define another property here called computed C U M P U T E D. There we go. And what this is is basically in this computed, you can in a nutshell pass functions to property names and they would be executed if you request those particular properties. So if you're coming from a background like Java, it's kind of like setting getters, right? You're defining getters for a property name. So that's essentially what we are doing here. So I'm gonna say prop2 is a function instead of a property. However, it could act, it would act like a property. Right, so I'm gonna say return math.random. Right, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just like here, say prop1 and prop2. Hit save and hit reload. You're gonna see now we get static property and a random number every time now you see that I'm not executing this function right so if if it were in methods property right here we had to execute it by parenthesis but right now we are not executing it to get the result now computed property apart from just having a getter kind of thing is useful in the way that it does not really gets recomputed when your view changes um, if its dependencies are not changed. So for example, let me just say that if I have something like, if this prop2 depends on name property right here defined somewhere, right? And if it does not change, then this prop2 would not change. And actually, let me just try to construct a simple example here. Let's see, let's see if I can come up with something. So I'm gonna say input type text and v model name, right? So I'm gonna give it a name. Let's just name it code dam. And uh, so we have our property name, uh, prop two, as let's just say it converts just the name to dot com, right? And we're gonna have another input type text here with the v model of uh, you know just hanging around simple as that so this model is just hanging around and i'm going to say that this is some blah blah right and finally what i'm going to do is write here name and just hanging around all right so what we have done here is that just a final step i'll just explain what's happening here um let's just say prop three it's not really a property but anyways so what we can do is actually this should be prop two and this should be prop three like that and prop three would be return this dot just hanging around dot com right and I'm just gonna console log prop three called and similarly I'm gonna console log prop two called all right so what's happening here basically is that we created a bunch of properties so we can actually just get rid of this so name is only modified by or not really modified is not only accessed in computed section and just hanging around is only accessed in method section right so we're gonna see when we change something related to name right what's gonna happen is computed part would change but view would try to call prop3 method as well so let's just see that real quick so if I write code damp dot you see that I'm changing this field right this field right here the v model with a name but it executes prop3 as well prop3 functions as well 
because your view view is changing so it executes this function again because view does not know if it is dependent if this function is dependent on this dot name or not so it has to execute it right on the other hand if i change some blah blah you see that we get only prop 3 called now why is that well because prop 2 is a computed property so view knows under the hood view 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 js calculates its dependencies in this case prop 2 has a dependency of this dot name only and not this dot just hanging around so this dot name does not change because i'm not messing around with this input so it does not call this function right you have to remember this and understand this basically so computed properties do not change if their dependencies anything inside this function definition is not changed however methods will fire as usual um, if you change the view of the application the view of the application right so that was a little knowledge on when to use uh, methods and when to use computed properties obviously if I have if I am doing like some sort of Ajax call here or maybe you know um, some heavy data operation I would like to put that in computed right because if the URL for example let's just say um, let's just say if I have if I'm creating some crazy application which is hits random API endpoints and if the URL does not change then I do not want to hit that hit that API endpoint again so I'm gonna go with computed one however if I want to force re-render stuff whenever the view of the application changes then I'm gonna put that in methods and call it like a function just like this so yeah that's all basically for the computed part I believe and we got we are just left with the getters and setters how to define setters for these properties and we're going to take a look at that in the next video real quick so that's all for this one if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching see you then in the next one real quick wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers this video will end in one second good luck